So good morning. It is day one of the last freaking week of sophomore year. My mouth is dry, but I just want to rant. Okay, so that's the that's the warning. If you don't want to hear a rant, the first when the vlog first opens, then don't listen to this because this is a rant. But it's so hot. So basically, the place where I live right now sucks ass, and especially their freaking PMO is stupid. You know why? They, even after having had this place, or at least, you know, a staff that has worked as long as this place has existed, still do not know what constitutes as grounds. And whoever you are, complaining about the dogs walking around the pool area well you're so s i wish i could swear i wish i could swear <sighs> you suck ass because you're acting like dogs will shit in the pool you're acting like dogs like drink the pool water and spit it out like i have been walking by the poolside ever since and this is like the first time that I'm hearing of this again. And I heard that people are complaining about other residents walking their dogs by the pool as well. Well, you know the only other way for you to pass to get to where you need to be is the part where the cars pass. So you heard it here first. If you know, if you know where I live, then the administration of this place sucks, okay? If you, okay, well, if you know where I live, don't dox me, please. And <laughs> I hate them so freaking much. We are treated so bad here. I wouldn't so far, I wouldn't go so far as to say second class citizens, but pet friendly, pet friendly, and yet you make people wait just to use one specific elevator. I understand regulation, but. If only there was a button just to press that elevator. You know all the time, when, when you press that, sometimes you wait for like 20 minutes. Because you, every time an, another elevator comes, you have to press it so it goes to another freaking floor. I you know how freaking long that takes? It wastes so much time. So like, I'm really freaking pissed off right now. Because they never had solid ground rules. Okay, solid ground rules where they say you're not allowed here but you're allowed here not allowed here and their pet area dogs get sick there it's full of mud and it's so small not even enough for Gucci to like walk around like honestly I don't think it's even enough for Louis like you ex pet friendly pet friendly my ass Ooh, I hate this place so much and I heard that other properties of this real estate company are much better when it comes to treating people with pets so I guess it's just this place with people that eat shit I hate this place so freaking much like they will never tell you where exactly it's not allowed but when you do walk in a place where they think it's not allowed they will be like mm -hmm. like where are the rules? Where are the printed, written rules of where it's not allowed to walk? And I will not accept that we're only allowed to stay in the pet area because it's less than the bare minimum for a lot of people that need to walk their dogs, okay? So shut up. I want to give a big screw you to the PMO who has anything to do with this and any complainants. So I really hope someday I get to live in a place that doesn't have shitty ass administration like this and actually knows how to run a condominium i think i need to bleep that yeah um <laughs> i hate this i'm gonna go complain to the other pet owners now because one of them said that they spoke to the pmo and said that we're allowed on the grounds while they're looking for a second pet area Mama, it's rainy season. You really think you'll be able to make a second pet area that isn't full of mud like your first one? 
And even if you did, what sensible dog owner would only want to walk their pet in the pet area? I'm gonna tell you, the pet area is like the length of this, like just times two, or probably even less. Like that's how freaking small it is. And it's just, it's just gross. Okay, it's just gross. I heard a dog that walked there got Erlikia. What? Hurry up so you can scan your stuff. So yeah. I have a lot more to say, but I don't want, I don't want to take up any more time with this, so yeah. This can make me famous, but I can find a place to live that isn't shit. <laughs> See you tomorrow or later, because I'm going to be grinding really hard today to finish my freaking outline and my history stuff. And my my critical analysis too for my inlet 42 that's due today. So, rawr. Here I am before my interview. It's only two minutes before I have to start. Um, this is all crumpled up, smart casual, but couldn't resist even if I just had to hide the crumpled part. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. This is with Kritika Kultura and you know, it's time for me to attempt to look like someone with some semblance of potential for a feature in corporate. <laughs> okay, so I'm just looking at myself here, like how I would look in the Zoom call. So I'm gonna go now. It's 159. Bye. I think I did really well. Oh my gosh, um, I'm so nervous, but like, ma'am and doctor were so nice, and I feel like literature class really pays off <laughs> when you're trying to articulate yourself about something you don't quite know about, but you're trying to like, please the people that you're talking to. So that was great. So yeah, live insertion of my piercing. <laughs> Look at this, like what is this? It's all crumpled and stuff, but... Okay, so now that that's over with, I have to send a document. And then I am going to work on the conclusion of my outline and then my paper. So, I only have one more internship interview for this week, and that is on Friday with Union. I'm so excited. I do hope I get this. I hope they like me. They were great. I had a good time. I was kind of nervous, but for the most part, they made it very chill. So, <sighs> yeah. Like I said, I'll probably be making a video about this, like, separate from the vlog series. But yeah, so far, you know, that's what's happening. I think I did well playing the part of someone who looks normal. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later if I finish the paper tomorrow. If not, it is my cousin's birthday tomorrow, so we're gonna have to like surprise her tonight at midnight or something. So, see y'all. Bye. <laughs> Wait, could you imagine if like, it's like, I was like, oh, I think I did really well, and then I didn't get it. Let's hope I do, though. Let's not jinx it. <laughs> Hello. So, it is currently Thursday, day four of this week. Did I film yesterday? Because I honestly can't remember. Yes? I don't know. Here's the update, though. I am... Um, almost done with my inlet 42 like just like a little bit more just copy pasting from my outline uh, stuff I already wrote and then I'm gonna finish icer tomorrow and then I'm gonna do my futsal match analysis I'm gonna put my contribution for the history thing and I'm also going to start my inlet 32 
Which is precisely why I need to finish my Elite 42 now, because I don't want to think about it anymore. I uh, just have like wounds here, like they're like little bumps. Whatever. Okay, um, also, a news flash I haven't thought of a single thing for my Inlet 32 yet. And it's gonna be rough as hell. Because it's due on Saturday. You know, we'll just see what happens. I do, I'm just at the point where I don't care anymore. Like, I love my lessons, but I just can't be bothered. I just can't anymore. Hello, so my room is like low-key messy right now. And I just finished my interview with Umbil. Unfortunately, I didn't get into KK, but I think that it's gonna be fine because a lot of people apply there and Missy's trying to go out again. Missy! Wait. Fun fact, I, if I don't know if I remember, I don't remember telling you this, but like Missy several times made an appearance in my interview with Critica Cultura. So thank God she wasn't making this much noise with my interview just now. Also, how cute do I look? This is my first time using this. And I'm glad, I think that I think if I do get in, the powers of this shirt really helped. So thank you for to. I don't remember who I bought it from. I'm, I'm done. I think I did well. Also, I mentioned that I could like speak Cebuano, so like maybe that will help because they say I have to translate a bunch of stuff for the elections, like for different dialects and stuff. And hello. Doodoo! Mr. Doodle! Come baby! Mr. Doodle's here! So yeah, I think it's gonna work out. Hopefully I get in, because I don't want to apply for anything again. I just don't want to go through that. Um, I choose my mental health. <laughs> so hopefully I get in, because I don't want to think about it anymore. And now I will finish my Inlet 42 critical analysis. And then... No, I will answer this discussion board first, then I'll finish the critical analysis. Then I will do my PE thing, because that's due tomorrow, and then I will jump to my history, and then, yeah. And then my own Endlet 32, which I will be writing about sewer slide. <laughs> yeah, suicide. Because <laughs> um, we have to look, look for parallels in old texts and new texts, and just connect and stuff. So, it's a ballsy move to like do it the day before it's due. Cause like, it's not that it's heavy and like, in terms of writing, cause it's just five pages, but it's heavy in terms of like, what, how relevant is the content that you're going to put in your paper. And I think for most cases, that's how it is. I'm gonna go have some snacks and then continue my work. So I'll see you tomorrow, Saturday, hopefully. Oh yeah. Tomorrow is the last day of my sophomore year, but I won't count it as the last day if I'm not done with all of my requirements. So, <laughs> I'll see y'all. Let's hope that I get the internship. See that? Different clips, different pinks. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello, it is Sunday of the last week. And I'm done with everything for sophomore year except my Enlit 32 paper, which I will be working on for the next few days. And I want to finish it as soon as I possibly can because I have a lot of stuff that I want to do during my break before my internship. So the last few days I was able to complete my PE, send my Enlit 42, do my history group work, and finish the modules, so that's great. But I didn't anticipate that I would have to scramble for this paper. I kind of, I guess, underestimated the time and my time management skills. Skills? I don't know. But um, someone's here. Sorry, her head was there a while ago. So. <laughs> Wait, over there. 
She just suddenly came up here. I have to wash my face and feed the dogs because today is Sunday, which means I've got a lot of stuff to do. Gooby my eyebrows and stuff, so. Oh yeah, and I got a lot of crap to do tomorrow, so don't worry, I will be filming this last week of vlogs until I'm done with my paper to officially send myself off into junior year. So I'll probably see you later or tomorrow, hopefully I'll make steady progress. So far, what I've done is, um, I have gathered the basic information and the topic that I'm going to use. So I'm going to do Sorrows of Young Werther and Madame Bovary. And then I'm gonna compare Werther and Emma and talk about gender and limitations and stuff like that. And I'm refreshing my brain on it, on both texts, then I'm gonna find sources to back up my arguments. I'll probably end up with like four or five, but the minimum is three. So if I'm lucky with the significance that I'm going to answer for every source in the info dump, then maybe I'll be able to start my outline tonight. If not, then what the hell am I doing? That's like the bare minimum. <laughs> I hope I can start my outline tonight so I can finish it tomorrow and start writing immediately. Whew. I really like what I'm writing about, so I think it's gonna be fun. I just need to calm down so that I can actually focus and do everything. Yeah. I'm currently listening to my Summer of Like playlist. Spot the Pete Key reference. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go do everything now because I still gotta feed the babies and cook my own food, so see y'all. So I know I didn't update yesterday, yeah, because I was out like technically the whole day doing stuff like at the bank and errands and everything else. And tomorrow will be the same. Today is currently Tuesday, well, technically Wednesday. And I did a little bit of my info dump, but apart from that, nah. And tomorrow will be a whole full day again, full of errands, and... <sighs> yeah. Maybe I'll take you with me if I have enough memory for it. But I'll be mostly busy. Taking my sister to the dentist, and just doing a bunch of stuff at the bank again. And doing stuff for like real estate and yeah. So I don't think I'll be honestly I don't think I'll be getting any work any like huge progress done in the next few days. But let's just hope everything goes well and I'll give you an update as I go along on this um now I'm doubting if I'm gonna say final week, but honestly, I don't- I'm not gonna make a next episode after this even if I go past this week. I'm just gonna keep dragging you along with me until I'm done with the paper. Because we're gonna get through this. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm tired. It's like one twenty something I'm gonna go put Aquaphor on my lips and Johnson's bedtime baby lotion on my hands, so good night. Hello. I'm in the car. I'm in the parking, don't worry. Uh, I'm about to go home. I had to buy stuff here at Glorieta. I mean, I bought it in Landmark, but, you know. Yeah, so I'm gonna go home now because my nose is starting to hurt from the face shield. So I was like, since I'm alone, should I just like go to Greenbelt and like wander around and like have flashbacks of like senior high or like high school or go to Glorieta or go to Landmark and just think about life and I was like, you know what? My nose hurts. I don't want to do this. So, never mind. Some other time when I don't have to go home and do a lot of stuff. I thought someone was there. I got scared. But yeah. Love the fit. Simple but heavily accessorized. <laughs> so I'm gonna go now. Stay safe, y'all. It is currently Thursday. I wish I wore my Monster High bag today, but like, it would look weird 
with like this dress. Uh, I was supposed to wear a corset as well, but I was like, this is too much for the daytime and walking alone, buying bags. <laughs> Never mind, and I'm gonna go now. Look, I know I haven't been consistent, okay? I know I haven't been consistent. But I've been busy with a lot of stuff, family stuff. And it is currently June 14. And I'm still not done with my final paper. But... Oh, here I haven't heard back from any... Uh, from Union. So, I mean, it's, there's still a lot of other companies, so I'm like, I'm not too worried about it, but I feel like we really had a connection, so. Mm. I haven't heard back from Dima on my internship as well. And so the highlight of today is uh, my grades, which I will tell you about right now. So, NE for lit for NLIT 32 because I'm not done with my final paper, right? For Literary and Culture 32, I got a B. For NLIT 60, uh, Literary and Culture, Cultural 32 is NLIT 42, by the way. So let me just say the subject codes because that's how I refer to them in my vlogs. For NLIT 60, I got, for NLIT 42, I got a B. For NLIT 60, I got a B plus. From surprise by my blockmates will know why. So all of us are like, you know, like, confused. And his toe 12, I gotta be. Probably because I keep replying to discussion boards. Uh, I got a, I had group, good group mates for, for, for history, my friends. For philosophy, I got an A. Because we did really well. And we got an A, like, I think twice or thrice. Can't remember. Good group mates. Uh, for PE, I had good group mates as well. So I got an A. And. Oh, yeah, I was also consistent with my outputs. And for Art App, I got an A. Good group mates again. And obviously, I'm not gonna discredit myself. I also worked my ass off this semester as you saw I was losing my mind um, QPI for second year is currently at 3 just 3 because I'm not done with one of my things so it's probably not fully calculated yet but I don't know how much that will affect it anyways um, I'm pretty proud of myself because honestly I'm exhausted and I just can't wait to finish my work so that I can focus on junior year, my internship, looking for an actual job on the side, uh, launching the Instagram shop, finally doing stuff for music, and editing YouTube videos. So far, Google Photos is 15 gig per month has been it's proving to be pretty generous, so I'm glad I don't have to buy a 100 gigabyte a month. And I'm g apparently going to have- I just checked my schedule, my, I mean my IPS. I'm gonna have to email Mampichi for- to put NSTP in the first semester with my Soksai. So I'm gonna have to fix that, and I'm probably gonna have to add my- my PE, my first- year freshman PE to either intercession or first semester. So the subjects are getting lesser in junior year and senior year, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be super heavy, so let's hope I make it through. I'll see you tomorrow.
I'll update you. Hopefully I can finally get some work done for my paper because my brain, my brain is not working anymore. Also, there was no electricity the whole day yesterday, so I had to go out with the dogs, which is why I only plucked my eyebrows today. Can you tell I'm really tired? I uh, also worked out today, so... Yeah. It's 11.23, I'm gonna head to bed. I'm gonna wash my face and head to bed. I'm gonna call... Call my mom. Yeah. So I hope y'all are doing great. I'm thankful for these grades and everyone I've ever been groupmates with and for my professors for being so understanding of just my existence in general. They've been great, really most of them at least, you know, so, I'm just glad to pass, I'm just thankful, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll email the mom tomorrow for the thingy, I'll see you.